Welcome to Kayaveda's educational series on topics in lifestyle medicine. I'm Christopher Voss, MD, MS, board certified in lifestyle medicine and obesity medicine. Citrulline versus arginine, which is best for endurance athletes. In the realm of endurance athletics, the interplay between biochemistry and performance is critical. Supplements such as citrulline and arginine are widely discussed for their roles in enhancing endurance and recovery. In this video, we will explore the scientific basis for the use of these amino acids and discuss which might be more beneficial for endurance athletes. Citrulline and arginine are amino acids with significant physiological roles, particularly in the production of nitric oxide, a critical mediator in vascular health. Nitric oxide facilitates vasodilation, increasing blood flow to muscles, which is essential for sustaining endurance during prolonged physical activity. Arginine is a direct precursor to nitric oxide, while citrulline is converted into arginine in the kidneys, indirectly boosting nitric oxide levels. Arginine is metabolized through the nitric oxide synthase pathway where it is converted into nitric oxide and citrulline. However, oral supplementation of arginine has limitations due to its rapid metabolism by the enzyme arginase in the liver, resulting in only a modest increase in systemic arginine levels. Citrulline circumvents this issue. After absorption, it bypasses hepatic metabolism, leading to more stable and sustained elevations in plasma arginine, which then increases nitric oxide production more effectively. For endurance athletes, the key to performance lies in efficient oxygen delivery and waste removal. Nitric oxide, by promoting vasodilation, enhances oxygen transport to working muscles and facilitates the removal of metabolic byproducts such as lactate. Studies have shown that citrulline supplementation can improve exercise performance by reducing the perceived rate of exertion and delaying the onset of muscle fatigue. Arginine has similar effects but may require higher doses to achieve comparable outcomes due to its rapid clearance from the bloodstream. A growing body of research highlights the superiority of citrulline over arginine for enhancing nitric oxide production and athletic performance. A key study demonstrated that citrulline supplementation resulted in a 55% greater increase in plasma arginine levels compared to direct arginine supplementation. Furthermore, endurance athletes who supplemented with citrulline showed significant improvements in time to exhaustion and overall performance metrics. In contrast, while arginine supplementation also boosts nitric oxide, its effects are often less pronounced and less consistent due to first-pass metabolism by the liver. When considering citrulline versus arginine supplementation, it's important to account for factors such as bioavailability, tolerability, and desired outcomes. Citrulline mallet, the most common form used in supplements, is typically dosed at 6 to 8 grams per day. This form not only increases arginine levels but also enhances aerobic energy production by participating in the Krebs cycle. Arginine is commonly dosed at 3 to 6 grams per day, but due to its rapid metabolism, the timing of supplementation is critical to maximize its effects during exercise. In summary, while both citrulline and arginine have their respective benefits, citrulline offers a more effective and sustained increase in nitric oxide, making it the preferred choice for endurance athletes. As with any supplement, it's crucial to consider individual responses and consult with a healthcare professional before integrating these amino acids into your regimen. For more in-depth scientific insights on athletic performance and supplementation, visit our website at https, med specialists, net, and subscribe for more content.